Good morning all, there's more post, so it's post bag. Let's start with these two. Um, I'm going to open them both because they're related. So this one is oh, that. Right, these are all in these uh, foil type bags, so let's empty them all out. And uh, what we have here are some more of these 128 by 32 OLEDs. I've got uh, three of those come in and some more of these INA219 current sensor boards. And uh, that's great because it means I can build more of these, which is my little um, Ameter project with the current sensor board there. An Arduino Pro Mini has to be the type with two rows of pins down one end and this little OLED uh, sandwiched together with these twisty wires. Let's see if I can get in close on that. Yes, I had to um, swap things like SCL and SDA because they didn't quite line up. So what I did was I just put twists in the wires and you can see those twists there. And that's how I uh, wired the three layers together. And uh, more of these little ammeters means I can finally continue my demonstration that if you put uh, lithium cells in parallel, lithium cells of dissimilar capacity, they actually charge and discharge at different uh, current rates. And by putting ammeters, oh, that side's all common, by putting ammeters on this side to measure the current going into and coming out of each of the cells, we can prove uh, that this is the case. So the OLEDs are this one, IIC I2C, uh, 0 0.91 inch, 128 by 32 pixels, white OLED LCD display module, DC 3.3 volts or 5 volts for Arduino or PIC. Yes, I wouldn't want to write the code um, for this OLED for PIC. Anyway, uh, $3.28 each, free shipping, and these came from World Chips. And the current sensor is described as a GY219. Now, I think the GY219 is actually the uh, number on the circuit board, the PCB. Uh, INA219, that's the little, uh, oh, what is it, eight pin chip. I squared C, bidirectional DC current power supply sensor module breakout. So yes, this measures current flowing in either direction. And that's why this was so useful for that lithium cell project. Um, I got four of these in purple. The price is $2.07 each. Free shipping, and these came from Alice110, 1983. Right, let's have a yellow one. This one's described as one resistor. I think that's unlikely. Declared value is $2. And, oh, it's capacitors. Uh, so, yes, these are these uh, green, these sort of dark green colored resin dipped uh, polyester capacitors these are and uh, it says here 38 by 10 pieces so I think there are 38 different values 10 pieces of each value so it's quite um, an extensive set of values in this kit uh, yeah so it seems like the biggest ones are probably these um, which are 224 so that's 220 nanofarads and uh, this must be towards the other end of the scale, I would guess. That says, well, it's hard to see, but uh, it says 561. So that's um, that's actually 560 picofarads. Let's take a look at these on eBay. Yes, yeah, so this is a 38 value by 10 pieces. So 380 capacitors in total, 100 volt polyester capacitor assorted kit. And the values range from 220 picofarads, 2 to 1, to 470 nanofarads, that's the 474. Uh, $9.20 for those 380 capacitors, uh, free shipping, and those came from eSold200. And uh, you can see a table of all the values here from 220 picofarads, uh, 0.0022 to microfarads, that is to 470 nanofarads, that's 0 0.47 microfarads, uh, 380 pieces in all. Now, a lot of the capacitors in my vocoder project are specified as polycarbonate. Uh, there's a 220N polycarbonate and a 2N2 polycarbonate, but I'm sure I read recently that 
the last manufacturer of polycarbonate capacitors has stopped manufacturing them. So from what I read, you can't get polycarbonate capacitors anymore. Now I've got some uh, polycarbonate capacitors which date back quite a way, quite a while. Um, I probably bought these from Maplin many years ago. There's a 224 there and a 333 and a Mu 47. So that'll be a 470 nanofarad. Um, you sometimes get these uh, fully enclosed in plastic encapsulations or fully resin dipped. But yes, it seems that these have uh, met the end of the line. And uh, maybe that's because you can get very high values in multi-layer ceramics now. I mean, these ones in this end capsule are 106. So that's 10 microfarads in a multi-layer ceramic. Amazing values, which we wouldn't even have um, thought were possible when I started electronics several, well, several decades ago. But uh, yeah, that's definitely a 106. So that's 10 with a further six noughts, that's 10 million. That's 10 microfarads, uh, non-polarized, of course, because it's ceramic. I mean, normally you'd expect to see that in an electrolytic or a tantalum. It's, uh, it's quite amazing, really. And uh, I'm not sure that the polycarbonates, the polyesters, and uh, this odd thing, which I think was described as a polystyrene capacitor, I'm not sure any of these ever made it into uh, the world of surface mount. Uh, which tend to be the multi-layer monolithic ceramics um, or tantalums. So maybe that's why uh, these are going out of favour. And uh, finally, this one, which I can't identify, so I have no idea what's in it. It could be quite old. Some of these have been sitting around for months. Let's find out what it is. Uh, OK, yes, we've seen this before. This is my um, slightly nerdy and really rather expensive resistor storage solution. Uh, let me put that out on the desk. So yeah, these are these uh, Wen Tai, well, they're supposed to be for SMDs. These would be quite big SMDs, but I found they were a pretty good size for standard through hole resistors. You've got a little catch there and then the lid uh, flips up on a spring and uh, they all clip together. So let me bring out my uh, collection of these, which I've got some resistors in. So what I've got is um, a filing cabinet with lots of these very narrow uh, drawers. That one actually says eBay sales book, but that's old because I haven't sold anything on eBay for years. Um, and I've got these which fit in there reasonably well. And I've started labeling them and putting resistors in them. Uh, so yes, the little lids flip up. They're rather good. And there was a bit of a gap, so I thought I can fit uh, three more, possibly even six more. So I bought ten more. Uh, not entirely sure why, but yes, let's add them to this uh, block. So yeah, these clip together. Um, they've got these sort of um, grooves and they slide up inside there like that. And then they click because there's actually a little catch there, which you can release uh, to get that back off again. But yeah, that locks together. And then they also lock on these ends as well. So I can add another row to this. Right, so I've now got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by 3. So 33 um, little compartments all attached together. Let's see what that looks like back in their drawer. Yeah, 33 is about as many of us will fit in here. They do tuck under the front there, but that doesn't really help in any way. So yeah, 33. Um, now, how many values would I need? Uh, there's the E36 series. Um, but then of course, that's uh, 36 per decade. So I mean, I could need several drawers of these things. Not sure how far I'm going to take this. Yeah, so these are 10 pieces of this SMT, that's surface mount transistor, I think. SMD, surface mount device, kit, lab, chip, components, screw, storage box, case. Should add resistors to that, really. Uh, resistors fit in there rather well. So 10 pieces for $6.40, so that's 64 cents per box. Uh, free shipping, and these came from Ianhu81. Right, that's me out of uploadable shots for today, but here's a sneak preview of what's going to be in the next post bag. Oh, look at that. And so these are today's post bag items. 
Now, I want to say a big thank you to the 278 people who currently support Postbag videos via Patreon. And it's Patreon that really makes these Postbag videos uh, possible. So as a thank you, I've made a few videos um, which are for Patreon supporters only. Um, there's a workshop tour. There's also um, a behind the scenes look at how I shoot a video and another behind the scenes look at how I edit videos. So this icon here, um, if you would like to become a Patreon supporter, couple more videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff. And if you want to subscribe, touch my face. Cheerio.